So I am in my garden bed. And I gotta watch out for stinging nettle. This here is wide leaf or broad leaf plantain. You're gonna need two cups of these leaves. When the leaves are young enough, you can eat them in salads. Well, we have some. I'm going to stick that right in my pocket. Continue to collect this. You are going to need a double boiler if you do not have a double boiler. You can also use a bowl. and a pot you're gonna need either lavender essential oil or um tea tree oil there we go this right here is narrow leaf plantain i'm not going to use that today i like using the broad leaf plantain and i gotta get out here with a weed whacker I just don't want to weed whack all this behind me because it's stinging nettle. Not only do you want to wear pants when you're messing with that stuff, but it's edible. I don't want to whack it down. So I'm going to go ahead, collect this. So I have my pot with a little bit of water in it. I'm gonna put my bowl right on top here. And that's what's going to make our double boiler. Now, beeswax will ruin the containers that you are using. So make sure you use containers that you don't care about and save the one save these ones so you can make more you're going to need one cup of a carrier oil which i use coconut oil you're going to turn this on low you do not want the oil coming to a boil if it comes to a boil you're going to cook your plantain leaves and that's the last thing you want to do. You want to extract the beneficial um, properties out of this plant. I'm going to find my spatula. There it is. So let's get all that coconut oil right out of this. container. I use a organic coconut oil. You can use um, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, extra virgin olive oil to do this. That'll stand up. So now that we have our leaves over here, Move my beeswax. Beeswax comes in handy for so much stuff. I'm going to take these plantain leaves, which I've already washed, partially dried them, and we're going to cut these up. Or you can bruise them. And by bruising them, meaning you can go and not cut through them if you don't want to. Cheesecloth works really well for this. You bruise them like this. And 
and throw them right in. You can use a crock pot for this and let it steep for five hours. If you're using a any other carrier oil besides coconut oil, you can put it in a mason, the plantain leaves in the mason jar and let them sit, which is called cold pressing. This is not cold pressing because it involves heat. Get my plantain off there. So I'm going to let this coconut oil melt down with our plantain in here. And I will get back to you and show you the process and the coloration change in this salve. Beeswax pellets are a lot easier to use because they melt a lot faster. So I prefer to use those. I did get my beeswax on Amazon. And I make sure it's an all organic. Because I don't like the chemicals that they use. There we are. You're going to need either three tablespoons of beeswax or one ounce. So I have my scale here. I cleared it out when I put my container on there. If I had a spoon. Oh well. So we're going to weigh out one ounce of beeswax. Oh, look at that. Exactly one ounce. I won't do that again. Our coconut oil is starting to melt down. You can buy this either online or in a grocery store. I prefer online or big lots because it's a lot cheaper. I can get a gallon of organic coconut oil on Amazon for 20 bucks. And I make salves, lotions, chapsticks, um, soap I made. So we'll probably get into more of that um, this year. Making salves and all that. Now when you're doing a double boiler the way I am, with the pan on the bottom and the glass piece on bowl on top. You want to make sure you watch out for steam coming out the sides between the bowl and the pan if you have any gaps. Because you don't want that to occur. Bruise these leaves up a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's steam coming out right here. And that's what I was referring to on being careful when you do this you can see I got a little bit of a gap right there so you want to watch that you can use a smaller pan if you prefer you see how wilted down the plantain is now starting to change color a little bit a little hard to see it's going to turn a green color by the time this gets done it's going to be light green. Now this salve is good for many things. From insect bites, scrapes, cuts, bee stings, insect bites. I may do jewel weed with it. I'm not positive just yet. Uh, it's good for burns, sores. Eczema. Eczema is a really good one. Plantain salve has a natural antibiotic in it. Plantain salve also helps decrease pain and inflammation. 
helps kill bacterial fungus. And it helps soothe irritated skin, like I mentioned, like eczema, um, any type of heat rash, anything along those lines. So this plant does have a lot of good uses and making salve is one of those ways to use the benefits from this plant. Now when it comes to storage, you obviously want to keep it in a cool place with a lid on it. I keep it in a small mason jar and I'll be keeping this in my pantry so the light don't get to it because if the light gets to it your plantain salve is going to change color and lose some of its properties and you don't want that. I've actually used this on my dog. Of course I used it on myself before I used it on my dog but it does help him out too. He ended up a little tiny little scratch on him and um, it was healed up in less than four days. Um, he does have ear problems to the point that he's always itching his ears. No, he don't have mites because I've already looked. Just to be on the safe side so I go and I put this on the ear flap and it does help him out tremendously. I'll show you what section of his ear I put that on so that way you know because he's laying over here on the floor. I just put it, <laughs> you see still, right here on the side you can see where if he's had a little bit of an issue and it's all dry skin. I'm the only one that can clean his ears, which I have to do again. That's a once a week thing with him, with uh, playing outside and the dirt flying around because he runs around like a maniac out there. I keep stirring this because I don't want it to come to a boil. Like I said, you don't want to cook your plantain leaves. It's just like frying a french fry in oil. It's going to crispy and after a while, it's going to end up burnt. So you don't want to do that. And obviously don't use it when it's hot. Since there is oil in it, it'll burn you if you do that. And if you're interested in canning, feel free to head over to Canning with Purpose, where we do nothing but canning videos. Now that little gap between the bowl and my pan that I showed you earlier helps release the moisture from the bottom of that pan in the bowl so that way our oil don't start bubbling and cooking and doing all the crap we don't want it to do. Now you can either use tea tree oil or a lavender oil. These are all cold press. When you're buying essential oils you want to make sure you use get cold press. You don't want heat. The heated ones are not true essential oils. So you want anywhere from 27 drops of oil to 76. I'm doing 45. I'm adding both. Of course, I gotta shake this one out because it's full. I 
I added about 25 drops to that. If you wanted to know. Tea tree oil has um, medicinal properties just like the lavender oil. They're both antibiotic, anti-inflammatory. The uh, tea tree oil will help with eczema. Tea tree oil can also improve mental health. Improve mental, physical, and emotional balance. Sorry. Antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial properties in it. And anti-inflammatory. It can help heal wounds quickly. Protect against infections. Scarring. Like scars due to pimples and eczema and all that. Have power cleansing features so that's just tea tree oil now the lavender essential oil that we put in here can help with um, antidepressant rheumatoidic I know I'm pronouncing that wrong inflammation antiviral under oil that we just put in there helps with anti-inflammatory it can be calming relieve headaches support immunity it's a sedative and skin healing relaxant reduces stress improves joint pain so if you have any of that you don't want like I said you don't want to put this oil directly onto your skin so if you're doing a salve like we are you're gonna want one cup of coconut oil to three tablespoons of beeswax the beeswax also has healing properties in it which we'll get into. You see how that's starting to change the color again? Starting to get that green tinge to it? That's what you want. Beeswax is skin enhancer. Skin moisturizer. Pain reliever. Anti-inflammatory. Acne treatment. Lip healer. Jock itch and fungal skin infection reliever. So, like I said, the beeswax has its own property too, which is nice. So, all these good things combined in the one salve is amazing. I'm going to get ready to strain this so Bozzy's going to have to move his butt because he's directly behind me. See the difference in the color of the leaves? It's cooking all that good stuff out. I can actually turn that off. I'm going to start getting this out. Oh, I need a little strainer. If you can find the world's smallest strainer, that will come in handy for this process. Grab my spoon. Now you see why I say it's a lot easier. A strainer. You're not able to get all of those little pieces out. That's not no big deal. I'm gonna hold this, squeeze out all that oil, or as much oil as I can.
raise you up just a little bit. I'm gonna squeeze in that out. Oh, that smells good. I'm going to set that aside because that's a good majority of the oil out of that. Now our three tablespoons or one ounce, whatever you did, equals out to be the same anyhow. Make sure all those little pellets are out of there. You can even tap on that if you want to. See how fast that beeswax melts? And we turned off our burner. That's why I like using the pellets. So we're gonna go and find a little jar to put this in. So I have a gravy spoon that I use. You wanna be careful doing this. Because it is hot. You're going to just put it right in the jar. We have three jars of salve that we made today. See, it's simple. That's how you make plantain salve. Yesterday, I burnt myself canning. And I wish I had plantain salve on hand. So I just took this out of the jar. Got a sugar burn up here on my shoulder. I'm just gonna apply. Ooh, it's still sore. That right on there. And get it in my hair too. And leave it on there. That's all you gotta do. Don't forget to like subscribe and share this video out. I'll catch you next time on Nature's Wild Playground.